Hi. Today I'm going to show you some cool stuff that I've been working on for a couple of weeks. This is a hybrid desktop and a FPGA application. This is a simple bootstrapping, specifying where the project is and what the COM port to talk to FPGA. And on a, everything is in Visual Studio. And on the other side is a transformation tool. So the application is structured. We have a source where have method. Hybrid is actually a transformation of uh, an instrumented version of the source, which is actually part of the application and, and the runner. So let's write something simple for now. So we have a method test and it's returning one parameter, one value result. So let's do result call 42. Okay, so once we saved, you see uh, transformation kicks in perform uh, generation of the C sharp source code into a bunch of HDL and now it's ready. So what we need is just make use of it. So we put it result source test and result. So at this point FPGA call will be made and FPGA will calculate something. So let's put it Result. Okay, we're ready to go. We're running this so right now. Application will will compile the project. It's a painfully long process, but first time let's wait, and then it will program FPGA and make a call to it. So it's long, and on the big test applications that I wrote, it's even longer. But well, that's how it is for now. Well, so it's going to take soon. So what I have done so far is I have basic support for some C sharp constructs like mass operations, logical operations, uh, in and out parameters to the function call. Okay, here we go, ready. So it's going to fit now into a specific board. Almost there. Next time I'm going to pause while this is happening. Assembly and programming FPGA, and here we go. You see, we got waiting, requesting FPGA without any parameters, and the response is 42. All right, so let's do something more interesting. Let's have a source. Okay, we have another parameter, wind v, and we can do if statements. If v is more than 10, result equal 42. Else, result equal I don't know, 10. Okay, we save. Gets translated from C sharp to HDL. So let's run. Oh no, we can't because we need the extra parameter. Okay, let's put 5. Okay, so. will run. No. no luck. Okay, probably because it is running. It's okay, now it's mapping. We will get back shortly. All right, we're back. So for argument 5, result is 10. And that's exactly what we did here. So 10. Let's try another example. In program we put 15. And run it. Oh, let's forget to shut this down thing. Okay. So this time, and it's not compiling the application because nothing changed. So we just make a call with 15 and get 42. So this is the if statement works perfectly. Let's try something different. Now let's try switch. Switch. So if we get zero, let's put result equal one. If we get one, let's put result equal forty-two and default result ten. Don't forget the breaks. We don't need that. Fix 
some typos. Okay, so I also have some checks. So false rule, case statement not supported. Each case has to be finished with break. Okay, so what happened? Oh. Okay, so it shows that break is not supported because I haven't actually finished it yet. So what we can do for now is we just say that break is implemented and we can restart our application. Okay, and we can run it. So this is a source code for transformation which will be shortly available on the GitHub. Yeah, okay, now it works. It doesn't do actual break from the source, as you can see. It's only, it can only support breaks in the end. So breaks in between case wouldn't work, but it doesn't really matter for now. So let's check this out. Okay. Oh, it's another hybridizer. Okay, start typing, we'll get back shortly. Here we go. Okay, so for parameter 15, we got result 10, which we kind of expect. So let's check out what happened if we put one. Let's close this. Okay, so for one, it should be 42, which is good. All right, so, and the last example for today is a loop statement which is also implemented. Let's do some factorial calculations. So let's do result long Not all operations supported, uh, so shorthands like multiply equal not ready yet, but all possible. And now result equal t. So that's supposed to make a factorial calculations, and let's check this out. So okay, translated. So application is ready. Let's run. Okay, so it seems to be working. Okay, we'll get back soon. Alright, I'll be back. Uh, it didn't work from the first time, I made a small mistake, but now it seems to be alright. So let's check with the wiki if uh, factorial is correct. Of 10, yeah, it seems to be alright. Okay, and 20. Looks it's gonna fit into unsigned long, so let's try that. Program. We just put 20 over here, save, and run again. There we go, let's double check. 20, 6, 40, yeah, seems to be, okay, good. So that was a demo of uh, current state of uh, my proof of concept. So it's, it's working with uh, uh, simple statements like if, switch, and four, uh, with some limitations for now, but uh, I'm gonna solve that soon. I currently support unsigned long and unsigned integer types, because uh, there's no support for signed operations yet, and it seems to be working pretty well. The source code will be available soon uh, on the GitHub, so don't check, don't miss out. Thanks you for watching.